What's going on guys? So today I'm going to show you the best way you can diagnose a leaking vacuum signal in one of these Corvettes or any old type of vehicle that uses a lot of vacuum operated devices. This in particular is a 72 Corvette. It has vacuum operated headlamps as well as a vacuum operated wiper cowl that actually kicks out of the way. It's pretty cool how it works, but uh, a lot of guys are very uh, scared of working on them and all that but it's actually really easy i'm going to show you the best way and the best tools you need to get the job done this is pretty much uh the go-to device for leak checking vacuum signals uh this is just a harbor freight vacuum pump you can use any kind of vacuum pump um, if you get a refrigerant vacuum pump like i have uh, you're going to need to take a refrigerant line and cut the end off put a barb fitting on and that'll be pretty universal for what we're going to be doing for testing um, so if you do make a line, make sure it's sealing up correctly. You know, you can kick the unit on and you can block it off and it should get pretty quiet. You'll notice a tone change. Basically the exhaust port on the vacuum pump right there, I'm going to stick some rags around it to kind of muffle the sound, that way I can hear any vacuum leaks that might be happening inside the engine bay a lot easier. So I just tie a rag in a loop like that. As you can tell it already quietens it down a lot. Stick a couple rags on top. Maybe followed by a floor mat. Now, all we have is a vacuum source right here. You can kind of hear it leaking. The first thing I want to do is I want to find the main vacuum source, which is actually located in a port back here on the intake manifold. And I'm going to disconnect that and I'm going to hook it up to my vacuum pump. And then that will allow me to test all the items in the vacuum system as well as go around by ear and listen and find a leak. So we'll do that now. I hear that cowl clicking, so that might be an area of checking. Let's test the headlights. Anything leaking from that. So that'll bring us to our next area to check, and that is the cowl. And as you saw, the cowl works perfect. Now I do hear a slight hissing, so we might have something leaking in that area. Just because it works doesn't mean that it doesn't leak vacuum. I'm going to listen around the cowl and see if I can find a leak. Yep. Alright, so going around the car, I can hear there's a pretty good leak coming from in there. That right there is the vacuum valve that operates the cowl. When the wipers come down, it hits a pin right at the top there. That'll divert vacuum, and that will allow this cowl to pop up or pop down. I still hear leaks down in there, so we could have a line issue, or we could have an actual uh, valve leaking. So Everything else in the car seems quiet. That's pretty much uh, going to pinpoint our problem with this car. So this method can also be used to troubleshoot a booster. You know, you just hook it up to the booster and you can pretty much check it for leaks or you can check if they're actually functioning. This unit will pull like 28 inches, so it's pretty severe in relation to what the car might actually pull. So it may be, you may get a little less with the car. So any kind of leaks or anything you might find with the pump will be amplified um, with the only the engine vacuum at a lower vacuum source. So that's pretty much what I do. So I know right now I got a problem. I'm going to have to replace that switch in the cowl there. And that's probably the source of all his issues. So we'll get that done and we'll retest it. All right. So if this video was helpful for you guys, I appreciate you guys watching. 
definitely if you're new don't forget to subscribe i post all kinds of videos i work on all kinds of corvettes uh pretty much uh every day so definitely stay tuned um if you're interested in this kind of stuff i'll still keep posting some helpful tips and if it helped you out don't forget to give me a like and subscribe for more all right you guys thanks for watching i will catch you on the next one